Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be talking about the fresh category scents, both new and returning for the fall and winter 2021 Scentsy catalog. And this is a fragrance category that I actually really enjoy for the most part. So this is going to be exciting. Can't wait to dive in. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. <clears throat> so first and foremost, Returning in our catalog, uh, has it ever left, uh, is aloe water and cucumber. This is aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. Um, this is a beautiful, albeit very strong scent. Uh, I actually don't like it that much in wax form, but I really enjoy it in bathroom cleaner form. I really enjoy it in laundry. It gives like a really great, nice, fresh scent to your clothes and it actually lingers more than some of our softer laundry product scents. Um, but I just, I just never, I tried warm it a couple times in wax form and while it performs well, it just, it something about it just didn't vibe with me. Um, so this is interesting. This is one of the scents where I do like, but in specific forms. Um, but it is a good scent thrower. So if you're worried about like performance, it's a great fresh, sort of clean, dewy, aquatic scent. And you do get the cucumber note as well as a bit of the pineapple when you're warming it. So maybe the pineapple part is what throws it off a little bit for me when it's being warmed. Next is Amazon Rain. I'm so glad that they haven't removed this one. This is gonna be like living on for eternity, but that's okay, I'm okay with it. This is set off on a rainforest romp swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. This is all of the above. It's like a fruity, coconut, like creamy, sort of um, just adventurous, fresh scent. And it's like a lush quality to it. Um, you get all those scent notes, but they're, they're so well put together. This is just a yummy, yummy, yummy sort of scent. It almost airs a little bit on the like fruity citrusy side a little bit um but it is more of a refreshing scent overall and i really love it um i love warming it i love it in the scentsy fresh i love it in our laundry product although it's um, a little bit softer of a performer in the laundry care um but just just overall all around awesome scent i'm glad that it is still here with us and i hope it stays next we have a returning favorite. This is Arctic Kiss. This was the December 2020 scent of the month, if I remember correctly. This is cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. And I mean, it is it is a fresh minty vanilla sort of scent. It's a sweeter mint. Um, and I, I have mixed thoughts on this scent. So when we first got it, I was like head over heels about it. Oh my gosh, get it in my life. Gotta keep it, have multiple bars, all the above. And then um, after warming it a few times, it started reminding me of like going to the dentist's office or like green wintry mint, sort of like toothpaste and then like whipped vanilla. And I don't think I can have quite shaken that sort of secondary assessment of it out of my sort of nose association with the scent. So while I don't mind it, it kind of reminds me of like a dentist's office slash bathroom sort of vibe. And I don't know, there's just something, something about it that just throws me off just slightly enough for me to be like, maybe I don't like it as much as I thought I did but it is a great performer. It lasts all day. Maybe it's just a little too sweet for me at this point. Um, but I know a lot of people will be very excited to have that fragrance back because it is, it is a good one and people did really enjoy it from what I remember. Next, we have Best in Snow. This is frosted evergreen, cool mint, and a breath of pure icy air posed together in a prize-winning winter snapshot. And, and that is what it is. Like you do get this icy, cool mint and air scent. I don't know if I get a whole ton of evergreen. There's a little bit in there. But this is a very fresh, minty scent. So if you want something 
that is maybe not sinus clearing inducing or anything like that, but you do want that like burst of cool mint. Uh, this is a great scent for that. Is it one of my favorites? No, but I do enjoy warming it. Uh, I prefer um, what didn't come back this year, unfortunately. <sighs> I'm snow over it didn't come back, but um, this is a nice one. I actually think I like this more than I liked Slay All Day, which is another one that did not come back. So I always say, get a Scentsy Club and put those bars in there so you don't lose them. Um, but this is a nice, like I said, minty, cool, fresh sort of scent. All right, next we have By the Sea. This is a continuing on fragrance. I really don't understand why we still have it. Um, I just, I don't like it. It's very salty. It's, it's okay. So let's read the description as I throw the description on the ground. Um, <laughs> the scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. And yes, you do get like a sort of oceanic ozone vibe. You do kind of get a green grassy note, if you will, but it's like so salty and that's not I'm sorry, I live near the coast. This is not what the seaside smells like. I'm sorry. I don't know what sea that they go to that smells like this. But ours doesn't smell like almost borderline laundry detergent. So, um, ocean, which is a discontinued scent, smells far more like the ocean than by the sea does. So maybe they're like, oh, the oceans and seas are different. So this is going to smell saltier. Um, not a personal fan of this one. It's all right. I know some people who absolutely love it. Uh, I'm just not a personal fan of it. All right. Next, we have Clean Breeze coming back. And this is White Florals whew, with a touch of spring. This is the scent of fresh, clean laundry. And yes, this is a laundry scent. This is... It's a strong performance. This is one of our two strongest, I would argue, scents that are recurrent in our catalogs. Like one of Cuba, this will do you for like a long time. Um, I'm not particularly a huge fan of laundry scented things or things that are like heavily laundry note. Like I don't want to have my house smell like a laundromat. Um, this one is just a little bit too much for me. But it is more tolerable than our other scent, Clothesline, which, oh man, that is a whole nother level of strong. Um, is it a clean breeze? No, but this is, this is definitely like if you, if you just opened your laundry machine after a load of laundry and you smell like the clothes and it's somewhat still heavily scented from the detergent, um, a little bit of uh, fresh like dampness to it. That's kind of what I get from this, this sort of scent. Um, this is also very similar to like the generic original Febreze scent, like not one of their fancy, you know, holiday or summery or whatever different ones, um, but like the original scent of Febreze, this is somewhat similar to that. So if you're looking for a similar quality scent, this would be that. All right. Next we have Clothesline, the monstrosity of a scent monster. This is crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry. This is a whole lot of laundry detergent. This is literally like Tide plus Downy plus All plus um, like seven other detergents all put in one. Yeah, I, this is not, if you're looking for like fresh florals and wicker and, you know, line dried out in the sunshine, that, that's not what the scent is. This is, this is the detergent. This is the scent softener, fabric softener. This is almost more like downy fabric softener or like those fabric dryer sheets than it is like the detergent specifically, but uh, it is strong. It is strong, it lasts forever. I do not need this in my life. Even just the tester alone, which is like three quarters of a cube of Scentsy Wax, if you will. Um, this will like scent monster the entire space that I reside in, so. You know, it's it's a beast of a thrower, but you have to really love laundry scents 
um, to really appreciate this. Or maybe warm it in a laundry room and then it wouldn't be such a bad idea. But very strong scent, not a personal fan, um, but it does perform. <laughs> Next we have Cozy Cardigan returning, which is exciting. I do love this scent. And this is Find Bedded Bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. So I'm not usually a rose fanatic, but this scent is oh so heavenly. You get the suede, but it's not overtly like a heavy masculine um, leathery suede. Like it's a more muted suede. You get a hint of that rose, but it's it's a not necessarily a dried rose, but it's not like a fresh, simply rose, like where you're just like inhaling inordinate amounts of rose. It's like a very muted background scent. Oh, it's so good. And then the amber silk. So I think the amber and the silk notes uh, qualities in this kind of like meld and and mellow the overall tone of it so that it has a softness and almost like a, a slight creaminess to the cozy quality and it is just it it's it's almost oh, how, do, how do i describe it? it's just it's so yummy and i have yet to find a scent that is an exact dupe or a very very close dupe of this in any other vendor wax that I've tried or other brands and stores that I've tried so far. So I would say in terms of uniqueness and just overall, I love this scent. It's a, it's a solid performer and it, and it, you know, it, uh, lasts throughout the day. Sometimes I get it to last several days, just depends on, you know, the warming conditions. Um, and we also have it in our body care now. I think it's still in our body care line. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, next we have our new scent, Eucalyptus Wreath. This is fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frost and mint. I talked about this in our new releases video, but this is basically a nice fresh eucalyptus, fresh, not like dried or cool mint, like just fresh mint leaves and fresh eucalyptus. And then like a little bit of a an earthy woodiness from the juniper, but it's not like overwhelmingly woodsy. This is a nice, clean, fresh scent. And this is something that I really think, as much as I was kind of like, oh, I'm not going to like this, this may be one of my favorites in this catalog. Um, so, or at least of the new releases. So, I haven't warmed it yet, but I'm looking forward to warming and letting you know how I feel about that scent. <clears throat> Next, we have Jammy Time. This one has not disappeared from our collection. This is Drift Into... Dreamland with Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. And it's not a scent for me. It I, I get the vibe that they're going for. I'm not a big, huge Sweet Pea person, so that throws it off a little. The Freesia note doesn't really help. Lavender is fine, whatever. Um, I'm just, I find that people seem to be more like Camp Jammy Time or Camp Luna. And I lean towards Camp Luna rather than Camp Jammy Time. Um, and that's okay. It's just, it's just not a scent that I, I am particularly wild about. I don't mind it. I will warm it from time to time, but I won't go out of my way to procure massive amounts of it. Next, we have Just Breathe. That's returning. Breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints, comfort, and rejuvenate. So Just Breathe, this is like... If the new eucalyptus re-scent is like fresh eucalyptus, fresh mint, and like just a hint of like like earth and woodiness to ground it, this is more like zesty lemon eucalyptus mint um, or eucalyptus wreath with a bunch of fresh lemons squeezed into the mix. This is another great scent. Um, it's a nice, clean, fresh scent. It's one that we've had for who knows how long. But it is great, and I do like this one. If you like Just Breathe, I have a feeling that you will really like the new Eucalyptus Wreath scent because they have a lot of similarities. This one just has um, a bit more of the lemon note in it than the other one, which does not have lemon. All right, next is Newborn Nursery, and I don't know where the tester for this one is, and I'm not mad about that. Uh, fresh, clean, and powdery, this dreamy scent evokes memories of cradling your little ones. It's baby powder. It is 
the quintessential baby powder scent. I don't know if there's supposed to be any other scent notes in it, but all I get is baby powder. I know some people who are obsessed with that sort of smell and love it, and I'm so excited for them. I'm not one of them. I don't need my apartment or any part of my existence right now smelling like baby powder. So, um, that is not a scent that I need, nor apparently a tester that I need to hold on to. But if you are looking for that, like, fresh nursery baby powder scent, that is it. And it is straight up. No, no fillers added. <laughs> All right, next is Perfect Peppermint. I'm glad this is back. This is cooler than most. Pure Peppermint is the popular kid you'll love to love. And that's what it is. It's straight up peppermint. It's not sweet peppermint. It's not like wintergreen. Like there's no like blend to this. This is straight up pure peppermint scent. And it's lovely. It reminds me of when I went into, I think it was the Celestial Seasonings Tea Factory Tour once upon a time when I went to go and visit that. And you get to go if you want into at the time into their peppermint store room or whatever and it is literally like the most sinus clearing thing i've ever experienced in my life you just walk in and you're just whack in the face with peppermint just straight up fresh peppermint for for rows and rows and rows of it um this is not going to do quite the same effect because it's not that much peppermint but it is a pure peppermint scent so you don't have like woods blended in here there's no like subtle tones of something else. This is just peppermint. And that's why I do appreciate it. And I love it in, we had a limited time like cleaning bundle with this and it was fantastic in that. Um, and I just, it's a great, nice minty scent. All right, three more. We have Polar Bear Hug. Now this is like, you're like, oh, that's new. I've never heard of that before. This is actually the rebranding of Eskimo Kisses or Eskimo Kiss, I think this is the name of it. Um, are scent. It's just, it's the different name, exact same scent. Uh, so I love this scent. Um, it is blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber in a softly romantic scent. And you might think smelling, thinking of like those scent notes, you're like, why isn't this bakery or fruity? And I could see it maybe being under the fruity category, maybe. But it really is more of like a fresh sort of scent. It's like very perfumey, kind of romantic. There's a little bit of that jammy note, but it's a very interesting sort of unique scent. And it's not for everyone, don't get me wrong, but it lasts forever. Um, how would I describe this? There's a sweetness to it. There's the ambery note. There's like a fruity, musky sort of quality to this, even though it's in the fresh category. It just, it reminds me of kind of like a romantic, uh, sort of like cozy romantic, uh, sort of early evening vibe. You know, it's just like, you're just relaxing, kicking back. It's nice, you know, but nothing like, hey, like this is not as hot, spicy night sort of scent per se, but it's just, it's just really nice. I, it's, it's really hard to describe this one. Uh, it's one of those ones where you either will have to try it to, to see for yourself or you'll really not quite understand what the scent is. And I remember when I first read the scent notes before I tried it, I was like, what on earth are you, you no way, absolutely not. And then I tried it and I was like, oh, this is one of my favorites. Yes. So that is Eskimo Kiss, now known as Polar Bear Hug. All right, last two scents. We have Silver Bells returning. Hooray! I love this scent. This is one of my favorites. Uh, mint candy canes dance over warm and welcoming winter pear, all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. This is delightful. <sighs> That's so good. So you get a minty note, but it's not overwhelmingly. You get a vanilla quality to this. But again, it's not blasting you with vanilla. There's a hint of that richness from the caramel, but it's not overwhelming and it mellows quite nicely with the pear note, which just kind of gives a fresh, juicy quality. I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh my gosh, this is a pear scent. Um, uh, in fact, on first 
sort of vibe, I would say that the pear note in this, all it's really doing is giving more of a fresh um, sort of, not juicy per se, but like that fresh dewy sort of quality to this scent. Um, and as far as like the mint candy canes go, it's just a soft mint. It's not necessarily a butter mint. It's not a peppermint. It's not a spearmint. It's not hyper sweet. Um, it's just like a very, very sort of neutral mint in the background that just gives a freshness to it. Um, I find it performs quite well. I've had some customers mention that it's a softer, although long, uh, running performer as well. So again, with most scents, my experience with them may be completely different from yours. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I do love this scent so much and I'm so glad to see it again. Just it's yum, yum, yum. And then finally, our last scent in our fresh category that's returning is Vanilla Mint. And this is Wintergreen Frost Sparkles Over Vanilla and Frozen Citrus. And you do get a little bit of that citrus vibe, just a hint. And this is, although it says Wintergreen Frost, um, it's not heavily Wintergreen Mint, which is good because I'm not usually a fan of Wintergreen um, or a uh, sweet sort of mint sense per se. It's almost, but not quite like a butter mint where it's, it's refreshing, but not overly sweet or biting or nose sinus clearing. And then the vanilla kind of mellows it out. This is, I would say that this is a softer scent, um, as a whole and it performs pretty decently. I wouldn't say it's like the best of the performers in our mint category, if you will, our fresh category, but it is a nice mellow sort of scent. If you want mint without being overwhelmingly minty and you want a vanilla scent without being like blown away or like overwhelmed by sweetness of vanilla, um, it's just that nice kind of blend that gives you, again, a neutral sort of scent for a room. I think this is one that would be very inoffensive uh, in most circumstances if you're trying to warm where there's going to be a lot of people who might have different scent um, choices or preferences. I feel like this would be a fairly safe one to choose. Um, and it's not super loud. All right, that concludes our fresh category. I, um, I mean, I love fresh category stuff and woodsy, which will be our next video for sure. But um, I'm really excited to see a lot of the scents come back. There are a few that did not make it back that I'm a little bit bummed about, but they are in my Scentsy Club, so I'm not super heartbroken. Um, and I think it's, it's a, th I think it's a good blend overall. I think they did really well at selecting the fresh fragrances for this season. So let me know what you think about these as with my other videos. If you've tried any, if you like some or dislike some, always curious to hear different opinions, even on scents that I'm obsessed with or don't like, you know, either way, I'm always curious. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, please consider hitting the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and I will see you in our next video. Thank you guys. Bye.